Hey YouTube, it's me Loren aka The Kyle Kid and I'm back with another video. Now this video is going to be a collective haul of some things I've acquired in the last month, maybe month and a half. I know I just did a accessory haul video but um, I wanted to keep that video short and I had so much stuff so I'm going to try to go ahead and get through this stuff really quick so you can see everything. If you see something white and fluffy in the background, stash. See him right there. <laughs> That's the dog. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the haul. Um, start off with cologne, which is one of my favorite things ever. So I picked up six in the past month and some change. So I'm gonna quickly go through them. I'm sorry if I uh, don't describe them that well. I'm not good at describing scents, but you can check out Sephora.com or Ulta or any places that sell the like Dillard's, Macy's, and like look at the reviews. So the first one is Clinique Happy for men. Um, it's a very fresh, kind of like citrusy scent. The second one is Polo uh, Big Pony Ralph Lauren number one. So it's the blue one, which once again has the citrusy scent. It looks like this from the front and has the number one on the back. It's a, yeah, it's like a fresh, clean, like fresh off the shower kind of scent. Those are the scents I typically go for. The third one is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. And I've had this before, I had a smaller bottle and I just decided to pick up the bigger one, which is the 2.5 ounce. So Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Um, for some reason, uh, I feel like my older one smelled a lot more powdery. And I don't necessarily like powdery scents, like Prada uh, makes me sick. But this one is, it's, I don't know. It's, it's a fresh scent also. It's kind of like, not even tea based. I don't even know what the, the freshness comes from. It's, it's I mean, unique scent. You can check out the reviews and the notes on one of those websites to get a better scent description. I'm, once again, I'm sorry about that. Um, the next one is Vulgari Aqua Marine. Because there's another one which is a more nighttime scent. This is a, uh, what is it called? This is a marine scent. So it very much so smells like salt water and beachy and all kinds of stuff it is a very strong scent you don't need that much at all and i live in georgia um and it's very hot and that lasts all day seriously like for it to be like a light fresh well it's not light like a fresh scent for it to last that long is crazy so and another one is john paul gautier la Male. you know all about this one it looks like this it has the nice tank looks like this um it's a club like not even well to me it's like a club scent like your go out scent um it's very nighttime i don't like really dark heavy scents uh not too much patchouli or anything like that um or it's like star anise or anything like that i'm not a fan but that one has like a perfect blend of like fresh and nighttime and last but not least is i picked this up the armani sport code Scent. and then it was just it was the fragrance and like an Armani like duffel like a mini duffel a Armani sport code this one is very like spearminty it's a fresh like sports scent uh, and along the lines of like polo sport and what other sports scents uh, along the lines of those but this is very minty like it's very spearmint and it's very strong so you only need a couple sprays of that I like the packaging one like the matte black like rubber kind of packaging but you can't see how much you have left which I'm not a huge fan of okay keep it moving I'm trying to keep this haul relatively short because it's a lot of things so if I'm going too fast I apologize the next thing I got was some his tweezer men's these are the surgical precision tips so it's for ingrown hair so you can see it says ingrown hair splinter tweezers yeah tweezer men I'll take them out so you can see what they look like. I really don't get that many ingrown hairs, but the reviews are good, so I decided just to get them. So if I do get an ingrown hair, I'm not staying in the mirror, messing up my face and potentially scarring. So they look like this. They say tweezer man. They got a very pointy. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Very precise sharp pointy tip so 
those are good um, I'm not sure how much they cost but you can find them at Sephora's website all right next is some I don't know if this is weird should I show underwear or not like I, I thought they were a good deal so I'll show them in it's not like I'm showing them on because that would be gross and weird all right so Old Navy had like two for 20 or something on there boxer briefs and I got some ones that I thought were cool uh, have little bikes on them I also got a pair of American flag ones which I did wear on the 4th of July so don't have those to show you because they're in the hamper and that'll be gross to take those out really weird and then I got some from American Eagle um I got four pairs but I already wore two of them so they're in the wash as well so the first pair is like this they are the athletic boxer briefs so they're longer which I like because um and the bottom is a very thick like uh what's it called like double seamed so it doesn't roll up that's the worst thing i mean i don't know if uh women have these problems with their drawers or underwear but like when you have boxer briefs and they roll up under your pants that is the worst like if i wanted to wear briefs i would buy briefs sorry not a fan but i like these because they're longer and i don't have that problem so the other pair i got was royal blue where the orange was and lime green with the royal blue so and then i got another pair which are just like the regular uh boxer briefs like sport cut is this weird that i'm showing underwear hold on bright neon orange once again i think those are two for 20 at american equal so and they have a whole bunch of other colors and maybe i don't even know if they have other patterns but i like the stripes and the the neon all right so i have two pairs of shoes to show you they're both boat shoes and they're both from sebago now the first pair is in it's called moss the color and it's like a hunter re green with a chocolate brown bottom and i don't know if you can see the texture on it yeah you can see it there it's like kind of like a worn i haven't worn these so that's how they come like a worn in kind of feel and i thought They'd be dope with like a hunter cream polo and some khaki shorts, like like any color khaki, like the dark, the light, the the more brown color khaki. I thought they'd be good. For that, um, you can get those from Zap. I got the mine from Zappos, but you can get them from like Sebago's website and like a lot of different department not department stores. What are those stores called? I guess the department store, like Dillard's and Macy's and those cover carry that brand as well, so and they have their own website and another pair of Sebagos Sebago, Sebago I'll show you the box what is it? Sebago, Sebago these are a little more fancy because they came in the little dust bags and uh, these are the print is kind of unique it's like a I, I consider it like an elephant skin it's like black and like elephant skin for those of you who know, I wear an 11 and a half, and that's kind of, I'm, I'm 6'1", so it's not huge, but I don't know. I guess they look big, but there they go. Black and elephant print. And, oh, I didn't say prices. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Is that terrible? Yeah, I know I should be telling you guys how much I paid for stuff, so you guys want to go out there. But I guess, just... And this color is in... This is okay. I forgot to tell you what the styles were, so in case you wanted to look them up, I suck. I'm sorry. The um, elephant skin ones are called Spin Makers, Spin Makers, Spin Makers, and it's B10018. That's interesting. They're made in the Dominican Republic, and then the um, green ones were called Docksides, and the number is cup the number is covered, but um, with a sticker. But look up Sebago Docksides. Uh, in moss the color so i got those and the thing i like about boat shoes is that i wear them spring summer and fall I like i wear them to the office with khakis so the next three things are shirts polo shirts if you watch my videos you probably noticed that most i mostly wear polo shirts and hats so the first they're all these are all from ralph lauren by the way like polo so the first one i don't know if you can see the try to show you it looks like denim the actual color is called indigo but it kind of looks like a washed uh dark navy blue denim and they just have a little gray horse this is my thing with polo shirts tj maxx they have 
the same styles that are currently in the stores. Um, seriously, like I was in the polo store and they had all three of these in there and they were like $79 and those were $29 at TJ Maxx. So go to TJ Maxx, save you some money. That's what I'm saying. The next one is one of my favorites. It's this bright colored stripes, royal blue, Kelly green, yellow, orange, yellow horse, um, $29, TJ Maxx. Seriously though. Go get you some. And the last one, which I did get to match those uh, Sebago, Sebagos, and Moss, is a Hunter Green polo. So, why is it? Come on, sleeve. <laughs> and it has an orange horse. And last but not least, socks. Uh, I love socks. Like, pattern socks, colored socks. Not a fan of white ones, because no matter what, they don't get bright white. So, but I needed some no-show socks. Um, and Urban Outfitters had some. And they were patterned, so it's two pairs. I think they're like eight dollars. It was like a blue and orange, and then a pink, green, and gray. It doesn't matter. You can't see them from your shoe because they're no-show socks. That's the point. And I got some Puma ones, which were just gray and black. It's a Puma in the back. And probably my favorite. I got these from TJ Maxx as well. Um, and they are Angry Bird socks. Yes, I know they're dope. So it's the red guy, the blue guy that splits, and the yellow guy. So, like those, I like colors. That's it for my haul. I hope that you enjoyed uh, my little goodies. And if you're interested in them, you can leave a comment and I'll let you know um, about any other fragrances. If you want to know more, I'll maybe I should do like Fragrance Fridays or reviews on the colognes I have. I'm going to do an updated cologne collection here in the next couple of weeks, probably. So, oh. And for the record, my hat is an X-Men New Era. Like, I wear it fitted. So, X-Men New Era cap. It's gray and purple. And that's about it. So, until next time, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.